everyone welcome back to my channel yeah so it's been quite long from my last video because I'm quite busy this day so uh, today I'm gonna show to you guys uh, one of my favorite build of world bike uh, and this is you can call it the end game world bike build okay so uh, let's begin so I will introduce you guys the builds and how it's working uh, first we will go to the weapon we use the legendary weapon for blaze uh, blaze weapon okay I will use the scatistry and savage cell and for the special you can see I use the rig lips uh, lift and the mod is executor spearhead okay uh, and for the bone I suggest you guys use the hellion bone because it had three overpower there plus three overpower See, yeah, just use the. Uh, I, I, I think this is the best bone right now. A uh, place weapon, true. Okay, so uh, about the army cell, right now I use the tempers to uh, brush my attack speed. But if someone is uh, pretty good at dodging and bearing, so you can use the discipline because it will uh, brush more the critical chain and damage for you guys. But I'm not. I'm not using that because I, I'm not pretty good at dogging and so okay uh, so go to the lantern I use the scarn lantern so basically you will have uh, the attack speed and then the shield buff at the same time so in the lantern I will use the skeleton cell okay the half I will use the dark watch uh, with the overpower cell Okay, the close I use the Tark Shadow with the Savage Cell. The Goddess, I use the Macarian Graph with the Predator. And the bottom, I use the Gunnival with the Pulse Cell. Okay, so uh, summarize, we will have uh, 6 Kese, 6 Cunning, uh, yes, 6 Overpower, uh, 6 Predator. 6 plus post sorry uh, and savage okay so this is pretty strong boost so let me talk about uh, the post cell you can see every 5 hit is the critical so mean you need to stack 4 hits before you use your special ability here which means uh, this one will be critical if you stack enough 4 hit on the next okay so I will show you guys how it works in the hunting ground okay right now I'm uh, level 1 uh, and I will try to deal with the behemoth level 9 okay more than me 8 level so let's see how it's working this is the vanguard level 9 okay just draw him first see you will have the great attack speed right now uh, at the basic, uh, I mean at the how do you say? I'm sorry, I just forgot. It, but never mind. You can see. Ooh. Okay, you use the that mode give you a lot of uh, six percent of damage or what you can wound the behemoth. So just keep rushing, rushing, and then die. See? Okay, right now I need to stack four because you see one, two, three, four. You keep it. You keep it at four stack. Okay, I will go to the next behemoth. Okay, right there, just right there. I will show you guys how it's working. Okay, you see, I'm stacking the push right now, and this will be the critical hit. See, oh yeah, wound immediately. You can see right, and the scarcity uh, drop out the power boot push. So you just spam your right click, and the behemoth will die for sure. Yeah, you can see, easy, cannot stand up pretty fast and right now I'm level 2 or 3 already okay I will try with uh, another last behemoth and let you guys uh, do yourself with this build okay I, I already have the, the stack right now so I will use the special again special ability and it will definitely wound for yeah I guess so let's try oh shit see just wound immediately and then you pick up the power boost and you just arm the behemoth heartless see die with the 10 seconds I guess see how see how strong this spirit is so uh, if you saw the video is good uh, if you have any comment please 
give me your comment and thanks for watching my video uh, please like and subscribe my channel and if you have any comment please let me know thank you very much for watching